It is great to see you all again on the channel. Everyone is talking about the possible $200 monthly boost in Social Security payments for 2024, and we're going to get into that hot topic today. Thank you for returning to Stimulus Updates, everyone. If you are one of the millions of Americans who depend on Social Security, I hope you are doing well. For the most recent information and updates regarding stimulus packages, this is the channel for you. Today, I, Ali, will be your host, and I am pleased to inform you of some noteworthy happenings. A $200 monthly increase to Social Security payments beginning in October 2024 has been the subject of much speculation as of late. That sounds fantastic, and I wish I could assure you it's finalized. However, this is still purely conjectural at this point in time. The Harris administration is reportedly thinking about this massive increase to Social Security payouts, according to some recent sources. Crucially, though, no formal proof supports these assertions at this time. Therefore, we should maintain an attitude of healthy skepticism, despite the fact that it is easy to become excited. All right, let's get down to brass tacks and discuss the facts. The United States government did, in fact, enhance Social Security benefits in January 2024. The rumored $200 increase never materialized, but this was still a substantial increase. A 3.2% rise in payments was announced by the Social Security Administration to reflect the increasing cost of living. The purpose of this yearly adjustment, which goes by the acronym, COLA, is to ensure that Social Security beneficiaries can keep up with the rising cost of living. Consistent with shifts in the CPI, it is a component of the Social Security program. Think about that 3.2% rise for a second. What this means for the average retired worker's monthly Social Security benefit is an increase of around $50. Of course, you're right, $50 is a pittance compared to $200. Keep in mind, too, that this is no just rumor, it is an actual, guaranteed rise. For what reasons is this rise crucial? Well, if you've done any recent supermarket shopping or gas station shopping, you're probably aware that prices have been climbing. Many Americans, particularly those living off of fixed income such as Social Security, have expressed deep concern about inflation. Compared to the 8.7% increase in 2023, the biggest in more than 40 years, the 3.2% COLA for 2024, was actually smaller. The fact that inflation has subsided little over the last year is reflected in this. So let's dive into the topic of why a $200 hike is generating so much buzz. Many supporters maintain that Social Security benefits for the elderly and the disabled have not kept up with the real cost of living, despite the yearly announcements to the contrary. More specifically, healthcare prices tend to increase at a quicker rate than inflation as a whole. The current COLA calculations do not adequately account for the fact that many seniors spend a substantial amount of their Social Security payments on medical expenses, such as Medicare premiums. A $200 monthly increase would be a huge help for a lot of recipients. A $200 increase would provide a boost of almost 11% for someone receiving the typical Social Security retirement pension of roughly $1,800 per month. A lot of people's life could be changed by that, and it's much more than just new colors. Then why would there be speculation about a hike of this magnitude? Social security is always a contentious issue. And here we are, about to enter an election year. The program's significance to millions of voters is acknowledged by politicians from both the Democratic and Republican parties. A large number of voters, particularly those of voting age the elderly, may be interested in a substantial increase to social security income. But Congress would have to approve any significant Social Security reform, which is no easy task in the present political atmosphere. A substantial rise to Social Security benefits would face several obstacles, so let's go over a few of them. The majority of the money for Social Security comes from payroll taxes. Raising these taxes or finding other ways to pay for them would be necessary to significantly expand benefits. Politically, this may be difficult to sell. Stability in the long run. Without action, the Social Security Trust funds are expected to run dry by the mid-2030s. The necessity to guarantee the program's long-term sustainability must be considered alongside any increase in benefits. To address concerns about equity, a $200 increase would amount to a substantially higher percentage for individuals getting lower benefits compared to those with higher incomes. The reasonableness of such a universal increase may be called into question by this. A large boost to Social Security benefits would inject additional funds into the economy, which may have positive effects. On the other hand, if not handled properly, it could lead to inflation. Thus, what are the most important things to keep an eye on in the months ahead? Here are several important points. Public service announcements. If you want to know if your benefits are going to change, 
you should check official sources like the Social Security Administration's website, www. Ideas for new laws be on the lookout for any legislation that would alter Social Security benefits that might be presented into Congress. As the election approaches, pay attention to political speeches and debates to hear any mention of Social Security. When calculating Social Security benefits, economic indicators consider inflation and other economic variables. The speculation of a $200 raise has not yet been confirmed, but there are things you can do to maximize your present benefits. Evaluate your perks. Get a good grasp on your present benefits as well as any increases that may have occurred recently. Verify if you qualify if you are not getting Social Security benefits at the moment but believe you may be eligible. You should consider applying. Be very deliberate about when you apply for benefits if you haven't already been getting them. The monthly payment can go up if benefits are postponed. Careful budgeting will ensure that your benefits go as far as possible regardless of whether you receive an increase or not. Seek out supplementary assistance. Additional resources, such as Supplemental Security Income SSI or aid programs tailored to your state, may be available to you if you are experiencing financial hardship. The video for today comes to a close. Please consider subscribing to the channel so you can receive future updates on Social Security and other financial subjects. If you found this material helpful, please give it a thumbs up. The comments section is open for your feedback on this possible increase, so please share your thoughts. Should people get an extra $200 each month from Social Security? For what reasons? Much obliged for your time. I will see you in the video that follows.